Today we are bringing all of the MMA news straight to you with timestamps, by the way, if you'd like to skip to any particular part of the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle, I am your guy with too many YouTube channels, and welcome back to everything that you missed in MMA this week. This is where we bring all of the MMA news to you again with timestamps if you'd like to skip to any part, but guys... There hasn't been a lot going on this week, unless something crazy happened yesterday because you are seeing this the night before it has been recorded, so hopefully nothing big came from it. Regardless, we're going to go through all the fight analysis, we're going to go through a couple things, mostly actually a little bit of drama this week, but regardless, I'm here to talk about it. I'd love to know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for coming. Let's get into it. Starting off with what we've been talking about for so long, that being the long-awaited UFC 300 announcement. Guys, Dana White said that he will likely, keyword, being likely, announced the UFC 300 main event at Saturday at the post-fight press conference for UFC 298. Now, I don't believe this. I don't believe this at all because Dana White said likely and it's not going to happen. And I'm just shocked. Like, why wouldn't he just announce, like, Dana White likes to have the Instagram live, right? Where it's like, hey, what's up, everybody? Dana White here. We've got another banger coming at you right now. So it, the fact that he's just going to be sitting at a press conference. Hey, Dana, what about that UFC 300 announcement? Oh, yeah. It's Pereira versus Hill. That's what we're going to do. Like, that's not a big UFC 300 main event announcement. There's no way he does it. I'd be shocked if that happened. But that's what Dana White said is going to happen. Moving on. So the biggest talk of the week is Sean Strickland taking on Sneeko. I'm not going to show the video to you right now because it's been everywhere. And I would imagine it's been copyrighted. Plus, you have to worry about showing Sneeko too because the dude's been deplatformed off of YouTube. So I don't know if I show him maybe YouTube. Yeah, I'm just playing the safe game, right? Regardless, you've probably seen the video. Sean Strickland came in and he invited Sneeko or Sneeko wanted to spar him. Regardless, Sean Strickland invited him to the gym and Sean Strickland decided to just absolutely tear him apart. Of course, it wasn't going to be a fight, right? They were boxing. Sneeko's guys were thrown in the towel. Sean didn't care. He kept whale well on him. And that's been pretty much, honestly, the talk of the week because everybody's been saying either, oh, Sean went too hard on him or, hey, Sneeko's actually tougher than we thought. Or it's nobody cares about it, right? Or you can say like, oh, well, it's two guys that wanted to fight. Who cares? What happened, right? But this actually led to more things like Brennan Shaw, Nina Drama got into some drama, Nina Drama getting into some drama. There's been just a lot of people talking about it. If you're more curious, though, about Brennan Shaw and Nina Drama, I made a video about that yesterday. You can check that out. But we do have a little bit more of drama. That being Henry Cejudo and his coach. Another thing that you've probably seen this week, if you have not, Henry Cejudo sat down his coach, his longtime coach, at the UFC countdown and actually fired him. He said he's a long story short. He's been too complacent. He needs, needs to have some more motivation or someone else to look out for him for this fight camp. So later on, I think it was a couple days later, Henry Sudo posted and was like, oh my God, we're just pranking. We're actually together. And him and the coach are back together. So this led the entire MMA community. And I don't know what to think personally. I've talked about it in the live stream, which we started doing, by the way, look out for those on the channel. I don't know what to think because and one thing, I could very well see it being Henry Cejudo just wanting attention, but I can also see him going, like, way back on his word because everybody is – all the fighters, all the fans are like, wow, that guy brought you up from nothing and was with you every single step of the way, brought you to a, to a two-division champion, and you're just going to fire him like that? Maybe he's just going back on his words because everybody was calling him a piece of crap. I can see that. I can see it actually being a prank, so I don't know what to think about this. I'd love to know what you guys think down below. Next up, a little bit of interesting news. Alexandre Toporia has signed with the UFC. That is Ilya Toporia's brother. I believe he is 5-1. Regardless, it's going to be very interesting. If the dude is anywhere near as dangerous as Ilya, it's going to be very very fun to watch. Now, guys, for the fight announcements this week, we don't have any potential matchups. That as of right now, we have a lot of people calling, or we don't have a lot of people calling each other out. Typically, throughout the week, we do have, but we do have a few fight announcements that I will read to you right now. We have Esteban Rebovics versus Terence McKinney on May 11th. That is a very, very solid fight. Excited to see that. We have Austin Hubbard versus Michael Figlak on April 27th. Dontel Mays versus Kyle Machado on April 27th, and Edmund Shabazian versus AJ Dobson on March 23rd. To, 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 excuse me. Todorovic, <laughs> I always pronounce his name wrong, Todorovic is out. I always mispronounce that dude's name. Anyways, we have James Lontop versus Gabe Green on April 27th. Lando Venata is out of that fight. So, not nothing too, too crazy. I like watching, uh, I mean, not Dontel Mays for sure, but I like watching Edmund Shabazi, and I've been following his career. Terrence McKinney is always fun too, so we have a couple fight announcements there that's been pretty okay. But with that being said, guys, aside from anything crazy that must have happened last night, that is all of the MMA news that we have for you right now. Thank you so much for watching. Check out this video, which is a early UFC 299 card breakdown. I would love to talk, but I'd love to know your thoughts on the card there. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Take care.